Howdy YouTube, welcome to RV Daydream and our next segment of RV Daydream What You're Doing or What You're Doing. Uh, I know a lot of you guys like that little segment. Uh, we have a bunch of clips here that don't really mesh real well, uh, but I wanted to get you caught up with what's going on. Um, you'll get a little sense of what uh, we all experienced and our son's currently experiencing. But we are um, uh, on the path to righteousness. <laughs> Let's just say that. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. We want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. Most people, we just got online and did some shopping using the keyword RV Mattress. And RVMattress.com came up. Here we are, after we ordered, not paying attention, our very first mattress with them, thinking, oh, this is great. This is the biggest one, the most expensive one, and unfortunately, it was the wrong one. We should have called them and asked them questions about it, and what I mean by wrong, it was just a little bit too tall, a little bit too warm for our liking, but they do have a 120-night sleep trial. So we called them up and let them know that we were having some issues with it and they wanted to make us happy. They gave us some options and um, yeah, I we got something different, but they do have a 10 year warranty. So if you find what you want and you're dialed into it, you, you got 10 years that you don't have to worry about that thing breaking down or falling apart. In our case though, we ordered another one and this one by far is our favorite. This one was perfect for the RV. Now again, your situation may be different, but Dream Foam Hybrid was perfect for us. It was a little bit lighter, a little bit smaller, and just perfect. We loved it the very first night we laid down on it. So in uh, the, the researching of this company a little bit more, everything was done in Arizona. So free shipping, and it gets there really quick. And since then, we've been working with them, and we've got a discount code. Not 20%, but 25% off. If you go to rvmattress.com, Daydream, the link is in the description below, and use that code Daydream, you'll get 25% off your mattress. Let them talk you into the mattress that they think is best for you after you give them all the details you, uh, you know, they ask for, and I think you're going to be extremely happy with it. Thanks to Brooklyn Betting. I'm so glad uh, we still are on board with them because... Man, I am so happy with that mattress. Uh, there's just a couple things that I've been really happy with and, uh, over the last, I don't know how many years. And because of RVing, it really got us you know, exposed to them. Um, after we went a different route with our first RV, our Terry Travel Trailer. And anyways, look, look, look into that if you're thinking about it at all. So, uh, what you're going to see here is... Uh, some clips of things that have been going that were going on. Uh, the first thing I'm going to jump into is some home improvement that happened, um, and this is this is going back a while. This is going back almost a month. So let's uh, let's jump to that. Well, we have another part of the process going on finally, and that's uh, downspouts, gutters, and downspouts. As you know, the previous occupant decided to take all the gutters and downspouts. And we uh, have been dealing with, for example, when it rains, you can see that one spout just dumps water all over the steps. And we do have water sometimes that likes to stand before it goes out in this area. So downspouts here, up across the back. And then, of course, I've showed enough of this already in a video where I had to level out all this ground and everything to help get the water to run away from the house because of that downspout and then of course the one on the front didn't work so that's getting replaced and then we're getting uh, downspouts or gutters and downspouts here also so we're we're looking at um, you know what I don't know if I'm getting downspouts here I hope that I am but I never did indicate that with him so um, gutters on both sides here of course on the other side too so there's a total of six pieces uh, of gutters and that's I, I didn't know how gutter making work apparently there's a gutter truck and what it is is everybody just rents it 
they just rent rent it out that's how it works so that's that's a little bit different than what i expected um i i've thought that everybody owned their own gutter stuff that did this kind of work but it makes sense yeah this will be nice So you can see we got all new gutters installed, which was something that it, that went long enough. Um, it, it made a huge difference, and the guys did a really good job. So really, really happy with that. And then um, after that, um, the bad thing started happening. <laughs> good morning, YouTube. Things are still going on, but unfortunately... Uh, you can hear by my voice. I've been ill, so I haven't been able to capture near the stuff that, you know, near the amount of stuff that I normally do. This is probably the first time in a while that I've gotten sick. <clears throat> um, I think I kind of expected it moving back to Ohio, though, because of, uh, you know, the weather change. You get those cold snaps and... The humidity is not in the air like it is, you know, down south. And quite honestly, every year at this time, uh, we're usually approaching Florida. Um, usually after the Hershey show. So you guys saw the video, our last video, um, that we did the Hershey show. And uh, we did do some uh, pre-shopping. Uh, you know, it's probably going to be in the spring that we're really going to start really looking a little bit more. However, as far as the used, you know, or even new, we know that the purchasing power of uh, um, the normal consumer happens during the fall, the winter months. So um, something may come about. We don't know. Heidi's at work. She's doing her thing. Uh, I haven't been able to really do anything. Uh, I have a, a, a bicycle in a box out in the garage that I have to do a review on. Um, I also have a, a huge power station. It's, we've had power stations this size in the past. And uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to, to jump back into one of those again. I got to do a review on that. But I, I can't even. This, uh, this is probably the best I've felt in the last few days, probably last three to four days. And even just me sitting here talking, I think I'm going to end up uh, going and hanging out in the chair. Uh, most of the time I'm sleeping in our our couch recliner because um, my coughing would keep Heidi up at night uh, you know I she she doesn't mind she always says no it doesn't bother me but I can tell you know I'm awake and I'm, I'm just laying there and um, she's you know snoring or <laughs> sleeping breathing real heavy and then I cough and I hear her stop her normal pattern maybe she rolls over or whatever and, so I've been spending a lot of time downstairs here, but we've been getting some stuff done on the house. Uh, some more painting is in order. Uh, we still have to finish out the basement. We really need to buckle down on that. I'm kind of caught in between because I haven't priced it out yet and I don't really know what's involved, but I am almost dead set that I need to put up a ceiling in the basement instead of painting it. I think that the overall look would be better. I think that the fact that we have cables and pipes that are just everywhere, um, I think that the, the, the it just is a better idea. I could access it still by removing a panel maybe if we do some sort of a drop ceiling. But there's so many options. There's tons of options. So uh, we'll have to see what we do. You guys put in the comments what you think about that. But we're, uh, we, we had uh, some re um, correcting I guess you could say on our videos so this is what I'd like you guys to do if you haven't uh, you know subscribed to us please do 
uh, it helps our channel considerably. Um, but uh, more importantly, if you've just joined on with us, we have a lot of videos uh, from whenever we first started. And again, I I don't want uh, it's hard to to stay. Um, uh, you know, I I I. I'm proud of the videos that we shot, even though some of them, you know, were pretty shoddy and they're raw, and I don't produce them a lot. But there's a lot of good information, I think, going back, looking at those old videos, if you guys could do that. And what we did is we revamped and all the links uh, that were in those videos that uh, may have been broken over the years for products that we talked about stuff that we referred to uh you know some of the projects that i did like the the generator bumper um or the pro pride hitch or um adding the you know automatic transfer switches uh, auto formers putting uh soft starts or micro air easy starts on the air conditioners um vents on you know stink valve vents inside the rv to keep the smell down inside the rv uh, wa water filtration, which is a big one. I still, I think that's got to be right up on top there. Um, we made sure that all those links for all of our videos should take you somewhere that's accurate. Um, but what happens is over the years, you know, uh, manufacturers change, the, the listings change, stuff like that. And we might have been directing you to a lot of pages that weren't even there, so... Anyways, that's pretty much it, and I, I don't think I could talk anymore, So, um, which I'm sure a lot of you guys like to hear that. I was actually going to have Heidi do the review on the bike all by herself, and she may still have to. If I, if I can't recover here a little bit faster, I, I've got a deadline for that stuff. So um, let me go back to sleep. <laughs> uh, it was just a bad time. Heidi went through it first. And it's funny because she had uh, a little bit of a sore throat, uh, a little bit of coughing, and then, um, yeah, and then I got into it. And you've seen it. I, I was just blown away. You know, and it's funny because um, I have a theory about it. I don't know if it's true or not, but, um, you know, a lot of, all oh, guys are big babies whenever they get sick, and I'll agree, definitely. But, you know, whenever you have... Uh, if you have a, uh, let, let's compare women with um, small sports cars. You know, don't 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 get offended by that, ladies. Um, and guys, they are usually uh, bigger trucks. <laughs> let's just say that. You know, we haul a little more, we push a little more. You know, we're just we're we're made with thicker bone density and just you know stronger muscles and. You know, bigger muscles overall and just, over, you know, just we, we have our place in life. And, and to be honest, I'm I, we kid around about it all the time, but I'm just Heidi's muscle. I'm, I'm her mule. You got a little gnat in here. I'm just your mule <laughs> to do the to do the, the heavy lifting. Um, so um, whenever you're, you know, if, if vehicles break down, regardless of what they are. Um, so what would you rather have to lift and push? And how much harder is it to get restarted again? That small sports car or a big truck? <laughs> so if, if both broke down on the road, which one would you want to push? <laughs> it just seems like it takes so much more effort and energy when I'm sick to get going, to get started, to get motivated, to keep going, to not run out of energy. Um, uh, Heidi, she does a little bit better job with that. And... Um, I'm sure a lot of it just has to do with temperament too, but uh, so we uh, I, I was under the impression that I was uh, felt pretty well, and uh, that goes into this next clip. So since I'm sick, just sitting around, Heidi decides she gonna go ahead and sand and paint all the door trim, <laughs> which is a good thing because it isn't gonna get done any other way. Well, a few days have gone past and I'm feeling a little better. Uh, I still have something going on. It's it's nothing major though. Um, 
unfortunately, uh, I know that I still have probably about three days of this. Um, our son, though, has just started. He, he, he got sick. Uh, Heidi still has a little bit left, you know, in her, but uh, I'm actually sitting in the office actually getting some work done today, or I will be getting some work done. Um, it's, it's, it's crazy because I, when I got sick, I, I couldn't even remember the last time I was sick, and then, uh, <laughs> then I'm like, man, I, I've, I, I think I did a video when I got sick last time, too. <clears throat> but uh, we got some stuff done. Um, I, I did want to talk about that. Uh, we added, uh, so it's funny when I point here, just on the other side of the wall. Remember, I, I keep on telling you, the bathroom I'm getting ready to show you a couple pictures of uh, used to be this office. <laughs> The, there used to be a, 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 a wall here, uh, and it was all open. This this went back further. This went back, um, and anyways, they put a wall up here, and they made that bathroom. In the bathroom, we went ahead and added a couple of medicine cabinets uh, to take or put back what is already missing or what we took down. Um, turned out to be really nice. They're bamboo. Um, I might put the links in the description. I don't know if you guys need any of that stuff. I mean, this is an RV channel and some of this home stuff I show you, I, I hate it, but it's what we're doing. And, uh, eventually, like I said, we'll be back to RVs. You saw that Heidi was, she was painting on the outside of the house with our son the other day. Um, that's going to get fixed. I'm sure on some level, uh, uh and finished. Uh, especially if I can get out there. I, I mowed the lawn, even though I was sick, I, I put a fate, a real heavy dusk mask on and uh, a long sleeve jacket, even though we had a couple of nice days. Um, and it was, it was like the last hoorah for Ohio. Uh, we had uh, four days that was in the 80 degree range uh, to upper 80s. And then uh, we're, we're now, it's cloudy and gloomy and it's Ohio. But, um, the day that it was real warm out, I put on a long sleeve jacket just in case. I didn't want any chill whatsoever. And uh, I put a mask on and I mowed the lawn. And um, What I'm showing you here is just clips of what it looks like. Uh, I I'm really happy with the house. The, the way the yard turned out in the back. Uh, you know, we have that extra property piece that's on the other side of our fence. And everything's coming coming around it's it's slowly getting there and it's fun to, to actually explore the backyard it's, it's not that it's very big but explore the backyard and just realize hey this is all ours and you know it's it's finally turning into something decent now with that said we do have some other things that are coming up um still got itchy eyes uh that um moving into a, a different part of our lives, a different lifestyle. We are talking uh, about Heidi and her position at her work. Uh, of course, we knew her being back at work, what that would probably entail. And uh, her district manager has given her the local store uh, that she's been working at, um, which it actually is a bigger store than what she had prior. And there's more to do. Uh, I think uh, she's happy about it because the manager that's there is finally leaving, um, which is the whole reason she was kind of there in the first place. And with that, she can start running the store, you know, her way, um, the way she knows it should be run. So there's a lot of stuff that goes on there that she does not agree with. And um, Heidi, she's pretty good about stuff. She, she, she'll clean ship. If there's somebody not pulling their weight, there's somebody that's dragging their feet. Um, she will make sure that they know they have a choice. And one of those choices is not to be there. <laughs> um, I support her fully. So she's going to be, um, you know, an, an established piece of this store, uh, for the next couple years. Uh, with that said, that doesn't mean that we're still not going to move in a direction that's going to put us somewhere else. 
uh, during the, the winter um, in that two-year mark or just past that two-year mark. Uh, this will give us the ability to basically finish out the house, get it exactly the way we want it. Uh, the progress that we've made uh, in the last, well, we I can't remember when we first moved in here. I think it was April, but from, it might have been sooner than that. It might have been March, maybe even February, but all within a year's time easily. I mean, it's, we haven't been here a full year. Looking back at the progress that we made is, uh, we've done a lot. It's it. I didn't realize it until you guys started pointing it out on the last video uh, that I posted. Um, you guys saying, "Man, that you, I can't believe how much you got cleaned up." Uh, one of my friends, that uh, a high school friend, and his wife, uh, but he he had commented on Facebook to me, and he says, "Man, you guys really cleaned up that yard a lot." And I was saying, "Yeah, we." I I didn't even really think about it. We, you know, it's. Whenever you just see something that needs done and you just keep on going every day, getting up and going, oh, yeah, that needs done. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we need to do that, too. And if you just keep on doing that, it, it just happens. So um, there's a lot done. So it'll be nice how we can finish off what needs to be done over the next uh, couple years. But uh, also what that means is that it will allow me to free up some of my time to then even think about doing a project uh, that has nothing to do with this house. So um, we're, we're contemplating that. We have uh, some monetary things that we have to come up with. Uh, basically, we got to bring it, we get some money together and we have some projects that need to be finished inside the house uh, that we're going to pay someone to do, namely the upstairs bathroom. I think that we're going to end up paying somebody to completely remodel that out um, I don't think that that's something I want to get into. It might be possible, though. Uh, don't rule. Don't ever. You know, never say never. Uh, but yeah, this this is this is turning out pretty good for us. So, uh, just wanted to give you an update that um, I feel a little better. Heidi's feeling a little better, and uh, hopefully the uh, video's not uh, been too depressing. Because <laughs> it's tough. It's tough this time of year. Let me show you guys what it looks like outside. There's quite a few states that fall under this category, but man, whenever you describe, if anybody said, please describe Ohio from the months of November to February, uh, with very few exceptions to, to that general uh, wide brush paint uh, job you could do as far as just one stroke covering all of it with one word. Um, with very few exceptions to that, gray. That's the best way I can describe this, this whole feeling. It's just gray. So we'll cheer up. We'll get something on here that you guys will feel a little bit better about. But uh, let me get back to work. At that point, feeling a lot better, seemed like a lot better. Uh, believe it or not, today I've kind of reverted back to it. And our son, he got sick the other day. He's going through the exact same things, exact same stuff that Heidi and I went through. Again, um, they started with kind of a scratchy throat. She started coughing. She wasn't necessarily coughing up anything. At one point, she came, she she was in, we both laid down to go to bed at night. And uh, we, sometimes we have a tendency to flip through our phones for maybe 15 minutes before we fall asleep. And Heidi says, I need to use the restroom. And she left. And she came back. She goes, can you believe I just threw up a whole bunch of stuff? You know, like clear stuff in the sink. She goes, I, I, it, that was weird. Well, for me, I didn't really get to that point. Um, I, I, I don't know why, but I... I know that what she was talking about was mucus uh, that, that had caused that, you know, the congestion. And, you, you know, you just have a natural tendency to just kind of, you know, swallow. You don't even realize that there's a drainage going on or something there. So our son, just today, uh, he came up to me and I came downstairs and he goes, hey, he says, when you guys were sick, did you ever throw up? I said, no. And I said, but you know what? Your mom did. And I said, it was like, you know mucus or something. He goes, that's exactly what happened to me. He goes, <laughs> he didn't even know, you know, that that happened to her. So anyways, I don't know if that's just something that's going around or what, but the good news is, um, other than taking super C, you know, supplements, 
um, which we highly suggest that you do. You know, we have yet to this day ever get COVID. Um, you know, of course, we did get a couple shots and that vaccine, but still, um, I know people have gotten all those and they still have gotten COVID multiple times. Um, I, I think it that Super C really does something for us. That's my idea about it. I'm no doctor, so do you know do your own due diligence about that. So where this stands now is um, um, we uh, I was sitting in the house and um, I had a weird experience go on in the house, um, which we'll go to that now and you can check that out. So this is crazy. I just walked, I come out this gate. Man, I'm out of breath because I haven't been outside for so long it seems like um so there's some guys that are over there working um not at the house right there but the next house in between on city sewer and you can see this truck over here this white truck well i'm in the house you know i've been sick i've been in pajamas for quite a few days and although i'm getting over it i not feeling very good you know all of a sudden I'm just watching TV and I'm thinking why well, I just feel uneasy and then I thought man Heidi must have put something in the garbage disposal maybe she shouldn't have and uh, maybe the garbage disposal needs run and boy what is that smell so I walk into the basement because I'm kind of tracking it that direction. And when I get to the basement, I'm like, that is bad. That is a horrible smell. So you see that white truck. It's a pump truck, suck pump truck, however you want to say it. And then this company here. So they're parked out in front of the house. And there's the two guys over here. Um, like I said, that have a manhole cover opened up and um, I walked over there and they said yeah we we tried to put flyers out to everybody covering this but oh my god it stinks so bad so basically uh, what it smells like is a gray tank I don't know how to describe it but it smells like a gray tank uh, he said, is there any water coming up? And I said, no, I don't, I don't have any water at all coming up. He said, just run water. Well, the problem is, is I have to run water for that drain. I have to run water for that drain. I'd have to run water uh, for this drain that's here. I already flushed the toilet. I'd have to run water uh, into this drain, which I can do that through the shower because it's tied in. I don't know if it's supposed to be, but... Oh, he said it could be cold water also. So, basically, he said, yes, they're pumping the, the, the thing, and, you know, this is, this is our first uh, encounter with city sewer, and... Um, it seems to me that the sewer, uh, our, our city sewer, I thought went out the front of the house, but now I'm thinking that maybe it goes out the back and there must be a pipe because they are over on this street way over here and these guys are working in a manhole way over here. So yeah, that's, that's what's going on. So. He, he just said, hey, you got any water coming up in their basement? I'm like, no. And now I'm concerned about that. I'm like, oh, that's not a problem. <laughs> uh, but we did have that one time, that one time, which I showed you guys uh, on a video some time back, that we had water in our basement after a storm that, that was weird. It was just a, a weird thing. Uh, so basically what he said was, that they were um, extracting um, and and pressure washing, basically uh, jetter sewer jettering, you know, putting a sewer jetter in and pumping. And he says it's kind of got this push pull, you know, pulse kind of thing that could have 
got some reversion of gas that came out. So I think what we're end up doing is uh, opening all the windows down here and running a fan because I don't want to run my water too much. And... Get my watch wet. So let me do that. Let me open all the windows, air this place out because whew, it's bad. So yeah, that was the first time that we ever had an experience with a shared sewer because, you know, all of our lives we had our own septic system. So if there was a smell coming from septic, it either means our neighbor, which was a total idiot, uh, was pumping his backed up septic tank on the ground, which I've got plenty of footage of that over the years. I couldn't believe that happened which everybody says, oh, that's illegal, that's illegal. Yeah, we'll call somebody and try to get it fixed. Guess what? Nobody wants to. I, we actually called the health department, and they said, oh, we don't want to, we can't go on their property. It'd be like us picking on them. And I'm thinking, yeah, as soon as I do something that's that illegal, by accident even, um, I'm sure you'd be all over me, but in our case, we can't do nothing about that. I hate when people don't do their jobs. So uh, that's really the... Uh, the, the 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 gist of the whole video here. Um, there's a few summarizations that I want to come up with uh, or give you that I've came up with. I should say um, earlier I was saying we're on the path to righteousness. I, I was just kidding around. We we're on the path to just recovering more than anything else, and uh, we're going to try to cl you know clean up our living as far as the way we eat. Right now we don't eat very well, so. Um, we may talk about that in the future. Uh, that hasn't started, by the way. But yeah, we, we think um, health-wise, it's, it's probably a good idea at this point. Uh, for the first time ever in my entire life, ever, um, I actually was told that my cholesterol is a little bit high uh, to the point where medication might, they, they want to introduce me to medication for it. And I don't believe in that at all. I, I, I don't like the fact that uh, this person, and I don't know what the, the current state of the, the art is with doctors and what they're being told medically by, you know, all the institutions. But um, if, if I'm sitting across from a doctor and I'm obese and um, I'm having issues with cholesterol and digestive issues, I can't believe that I've never had a doctor just lean over and say, listen, you need to lose some weight you know, it would improve your health considerably. You know what's funny about that is even the pre, uh, pre appointment uh, that I did with the nurse, the intake nurse, um, one of the questions, the VA does a lot of weird stuff whenever you go in there, but one of the questions the VA had with me was, um, uh, what is the one thing that you're looking to get out of your health moving forward, you know, health wise, what is your main concern? And um, I'm sure I could talk about, you know, digestive issues or uh, my joints, you know, being sore, um, back issues or something. You know, I, I, there's, I'm sure there's numerous things I could pick. But I told him flat out my weight. I said, I, I think I'd like to address my weight. And still yet, when I went into the, uh, the doctor, her being armed with that information that I just gave the intake nurse, because it's all electronic, um, she said, yeah, your cholesterol is a little high and I want to give you pills. Well, why would you just tell me to lose some weight? I mean, I already talked about how I need to lose weight. So anyways, I had gone to a, a GI doctor, a, a specialist uh, with the VA, and I mentioned it to her. And uh, she had flat out told me that she would get me in touch with a nutritionalist, which the VA offers. And um, I'm going to have that at call, I think tomorrow. It's just a phone call. Uh, to get a plan together. And um, again, we'll talk about that some other time. But I do want to talk about health-wise, um, Heidi, you know, her being at work, working like she used to, um, it's, it, she's, she's feeling it. Um, she is, uh, she's lost weight right away because she's busy all the time. But yeah, it's, she, you know, she comes home and she talks about, wow, I can't believe, you know, I'm a, it, it's not like it used to be. You got to figure that she started that job when she was, you know, 24 years younger than she currently is. And um, there's a lot of things that she did every day and she didn't realize at any point in time that she was slowing down. But now that she took a break away from it for three years, going back to it, she really is like, wow, it's, 
you know, getting back up on the horse is a little bit tough. But uh, she, again, she's getting it done. Uh, the thing that I'm going to share with you guys, which um, I, I I want to uh, not make this a serious, uh, you know, message or anything like that, but you know, it is. It's a serious thing. Um, mental health, depression. Um, people have bouts and battles with that stuff all the time. Um, it is an illness. It's not a weakness. I mean, it's something that they, they have a tendency to struggle with. Um, we have uh, friends and family members that have, uh, you know, struggled with it most of their lives. Um, and I'm going to share my little tidbit about that with myself. And that is something that I've talked about in past videos numerous times. Um, and you kind of saw, I, I had the camera out the window and I was talking about how it's just gray outside. I suffer pretty severely from SAD, S-A-D or whatever it is. Um, never been diagnosed with it, but I mean, it, it's pretty obvious that as soon as I start seeing the leaves fall, you know, fall down and, and everything starts to die and it, it starts getting gray and there's less sunlight every day. And, you know, I'm an outdoor person for the most part. I like to go out and do stuff. Um, and it's, it's, there's just this sense of dread that starts covering me of, man, it's, you know, it's not only is everything outside dying, but inside I start dying of, oh, here we go. You know, I've got to suffer through this season of dark, slushy snow and ice and cold and, it's it's just it keeps me confined and there it, you just have a real bad attitude towards it which uh, trust me that is probably the greatest thing that I've ever experienced is just not being happy with it I don't ever think of anything severe of like oh I, I can't handle it anymore that kind of deal um, but there's people out there that do so I just want to kind of share that with you and share with uh, people out there that might be watching that have the same kind of feelings, you know. Uh, do things to, to keep yourself um, content. Um, you know, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, there's, there's always something to look forward to. Uh, instead of spending all the time that you have focusing on the negative aspects of what's going on, uh, spend that time using your brain power and doing that inner deep thinking that you're doing that just keeps on making you spiral deeper and deeper. Um, use that same inner thinking to to focus on the positive things and the things that could help or um, to formulate a plan. Um, you know, it's funny how just something as simple as, um, you know, you've seen Heidi and I do it quite a bit. Uh, just go on a little trip and I'm talking about if Heidi's off for a couple of days of work, I'll tell her, I'll say, hey, how about uh, we go rent a hotel with a hot tub um, over, you know, uh, in Cleveland and, and just, just go, that, you know, just go. It's, it, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You don't have to get a hot tub or anything or you don't have to do a hotel. Maybe, maybe you're a walk in the park type person. Our son is, you know, our son sometimes, he, um, he don't feel real strong about, you know, things that are going on and he might get a little bit down on himself. And uh, there's plenty of times I see him, uh, you know, take out of here with a backpack. He's got a water bottle. And I say, what you doing? You know, where are you heading to? And he goes, oh, I'm going to go up to the park. He says, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to go walking on the trail just to get outside. And if you guys have been with us for a real long time, remember that years ago, I don't know how many years ago it was, probably back in 2015, um, I was talking about how there's been studies that have been done that, you know, people, tac you know, tactile, need to be in touch with nature. They need to feel grass underneath their bare feet. They need to be outside and, and be smelling pine and leaves and dirt. Um, they, they need to interact with that because, you know, we're all made up of the same stuff. And there's some correlation with feeling, you know, in touch with nature that, that makes you refreshed and it does something you know not only uh, psychologically to you just you know thinking that you're doing something that's refreshing but also physical something physical actually happens due to one or the other uh, either because of you're touching it physically or just the endorphins that are created because you're enjoying it on some level 
So that's why we had gotten into RVing in the first place. Um, and it's funny because uh, I think that's probably one of the reasons that we had got out of RVing on the level that we were at. It's just we became so detached from the nature part of things um, other than enjoying our surroundings um, just visually. Um, you know, we couldn't really necessarily walk through the grass because we were in a campground. Um, and I'm talking about an RV park. And again, I talked about, you know, dogs defecating in our, you know, our little area before, uh, the, you know, the people that were before us. And then when they left, they didn't really necessarily clean it up. Or if they did clean it up, how good did they get it clean? And then, you know, down in Florida, fire ants and, and sand spurs and stuff like that. Um, and then a lot of concrete, you know, you see a lot of um, just... You know, nice parking lot, a nice driveway, a, a, a nice clubhouse. But it, I don't know, the nature part of things like you see at state parks. State parks, whenever you back your RVs in, I mean, you're usually you're making sure that <laughs> even though I brushed one one time, you're making sure you don't put your RV, you know, up against a tree or something because the trees are all over your site. There's there's sap dropping down on your RV and your vehicles the whole time. You're you're inside this nature envelope and usually you're near a water feature of some kind. And I mean, it just, you feel so much more in nature. So uh, that's what I want you guys to do. Um, if you're feeling a little bit depressed, a little bit um, uh, discouraged, uh, especially because of the season changing, um, you know, get yourself out, go do something like that. And uh, we are trying to uh, land ourselves, you know, another RV. Um, my eyes are still itchy. I mean, I still have, I still have this cold thing going on. It's been four weeks now, going on four weeks. But uh, we are doing what we can. Heidi and I, we have two different directions we could go, and we just don't know. One is really appealing, um, and that's like a, a new RV route, uh, a big, you know, truck, a big RV. Um, but doing it on a home base, uh, you know, setup, and then the other way is kind of on the cheap route, a, a smaller RV and a and an older truck. Kind of, you know, we we had both of those things, and we're going back and forth about all the pluses and minuses of both. And uh, you know, they they both had some really good. Uh, offerings that would allow a lot of opportunities in either direction. So again, Heidi and I has been going back and forth on this. Um, she likes the bigger RVs. She likes um, the, you know, the, the, the freedom that's inside the RV. Um, she also enjoys the, the smaller RVs because they're a little bit more intimate, a little bit less of a of a job to move you know getting back to that small sports car versus the big truck you know so whenever you have problems on a smaller rv the problems are usually smaller than when they're on a bigger rv so um yeah it's it's one of those things that we've been going back and forth uh, why don't you guys put that in the comment what do you guys think we should do um we could go with uh a, an older truck uh like a half ton three quarter ton um, and an older trailer, uh, something that is as small as, uh, let's say 24 foot, um, and as big as 30 foot. Um, or we could go with something new. We could go with something bigger, uh, and newer. Uh, we could go with like, uh, um, you know what we had before, um, uh, new F-350. Um, with a new fifth wheel um, or a new travel trailer. Um, but let, let us know what you think. Um, I'll tell you that the benefit that I saw and that Heidi and I both saw was as far as overall mobility and the best balance that we had between, um, you know, staying stationary for long periods of time and being able to travel and be very mobile. We know that the magic number still for that is 30 foot and under, um, travel trailer most likely, and uh, a, a truck that can handle it um, and maybe be overkill. Uh, so when we had our initial setup, when we first took off full timing um, with that F-350 
and the 30 foot travel trailer. Um, our mobility, our ability to just hook up and go, literally, and go a lot and fast and cover a lot of area and be able to get into pretty much everywhere we wanted to go. Um, that was the ideal situation uh, for the most part. So um, you guys may want to take note of that if you're thinking about full timing and you're kind of on the fence of what you should do. Um, if you guys think that you're going to be parked for any period of time um, and that's what you plan on doing, maybe going somewhere six months and then hooking up and going somewhere else for six months, um, I'm going to tell you that the fifth wheel experience was by far um, an eye opener uh, when we went from that travel trailer into the fifth wheel. Uh, the fifth wheel was like moving into a home. Uh, it was like moving into something substantial. Um, everything seemed more solid. It, it seemed more like a mobile home than it did a trailer of any kind. And it just seemed a lot easier to live in that for longer periods of time. Of course, we had a lot of features, you know, washers and dryers, um, uh, bigger, just bigger area in general, bigger refrigerators, um, extra TVs, extra seating areas, extra storage. I mean, it, it just became uh, a lot easier to deal with. But um, one of those things that we may talk about in a future video and also, let us know in the comments what you think about a live. How many of you would watch a live video at this point in time? Because we haven't done one in a while, and I know there's always about five diehard people that like to see our live videos, but uh, let us know. And um, if so, let us know what kind of uh, questions you may have, or just get your questions ready. I can answer anything on the fly, so um, that's it. Uh, this is going on long enough, and as always, guys, we hope to see you out there with us. Hopefully we're out there one day again too. So uh, we'll talk to you later and again out there maybe. Bye.